Ooh. All right. Hi, I'm Ed Lucas. And this is my good-looking brother, Fred. Uh, that's right. Thank you, Fred. I'm glad to have him here. He's awesome. Um, Thanks, man. This is my blog number two. It was an intro, then blog one. This is blog two. two. Just wanted right. to cover a few things. Uh, try to keep it down to like three minutes or four minutes. Um, it's about being smart. And, you know, a lot of people today, I don't know if you noticed this, uh, they don't come equipped with common sense, right? So there's a lot of common sense None. things Zero. that people just don't have. So um, there's a lot of dating websites out there. Uh, a lot of them are free, plenty of fish, uh, OkCupid, you got Bumble, which is a little weird, but, uh, and Tinder, which I'm finding is no longer just a hookup site. There's people actually looking for relationships. So, um, one that I'm not a big fan of is eHarmony, but only because they have the control. It's like, when, it was a couple of years ago, but when you're on it, it's like you show interest, then they show interest, then you get to ask a question, they, they answer it, and they ask a question, and, and that's the way it goes. Like, you can't proceed until they answer your question. Or, uh, you know, they have control of the situation. I prefer to have control of my own destiny, so that's the way I roll. So anyway, uh, despite that, if you go to eHarmony.com, uh, you don't even have to join. You just uh, go on the site, and they have something there uh, on their uh, menu about online safety. It's very good, very well written. I'll just cover it real quick. Uh, always meet at a public place. Uh, always meet at a Starbucks. Always meet at uh, you know something busy. You know an Applebee's or something where you got into trouble. You could scream, and someone would come running. All right. Um, the other thing is uh, tell somebody before you go. When you're talking to them on the phone, always talk to them on the phone first. Get some information. Find out their first and last name. I mean, you're only going by what they tell you, right? Uh, then you could Google them, see if they have any criminal records or anything bad that comes up, any news briefs. Maybe they were arrested. Um, there's a site that you could pay for to investigate further, but uh, I wouldn't go that far. But, uh, well, maybe you would, and that's not so bad. Uh, you could Facebook them, right? I Even, would. You know, stalk them a little bit. Uh, and then tell someone who they are, what their phone number is, where you're going, what time you're going to be there, what time you should be coming home. Also, try to have that person call you about, uh, you know, half hour into the deal just to make sure that, you know, you're not floundering and you need an escape route. Uh, the other thing right, is take your phone Ah, I don't want to be rude. I'm going to leave it in the car. No, take your fucking phone, man. Turn the sound off, all right? But you have it. Even have it out on the table. Say you're waiting for an emergency. Some, somebody's sick or what? Make up a story, man. Have it on the fucking table. Uh, don't let them into it. Have it locked. But uh, you also might want to show pictures of your dog and stuff. But if things go bad, man, 911, right? Or your brother or your sister or, or your friend. Somebody to come bail you out. Uh, also, that half hour... Uh, call so that you'll get or a text to be like, oh, I, I need to take this. <gasps> oh my God, the dog just ate the cat and he's shitting it out right now and it's stuck in his ass. I got to go home because I'm the only one that can pull it out. You got to go. The, there's so I many excuses. Make one up. Uh, the other thing is if you do go out for drinks, for God's sake, stay sober. First of all, you look like a jackass when you get drunk. Cheers. Second of all, your guard's down, right? You don't want to be do. uh, stuck with somebody who's a creep. And be drunk. You know, you need to be able to, uh, you know, take care of business and, and get the fuck out of there. The other thing is, uh, women mostly, uh, if you're going to excuse yourself to go to the bathroom, you're going to get up to get napkins, take your purse with you. All right? Don't, don't, don't feel funny about it. Maybe it's your time of month and you need uh, shit that's in your bag. He doesn't know. Take your bag yeah, with you. You, need that. you leave it on the table. At the at, you know at the table, he's gonna go through your shit. He might. He could take pictures of your license, your work ID. He'll know everything about you. You don't want that on the first or That's second date. Idea. You want to keep yourself Never quiet. Never thought of that. Um, so, uh, am I boring you, my friend? Take that off. <laughs> All right. He's free. He's free. Probably get paying me. So, there you go. Anyway, 
Um, so yeah, that I'll leave it at that little five minute video. Um, hope that helps you. All right, we'll cover more later. Say goodbye, Fred. Bye. See you next Bye, time. Bye, Fred. I'm coming back. Cool. I got a job. Fred forgot his hat. And Fred has on glasses. Eddie wears glasses. Idiot. I'm just get tangled up in this. It's like two fucking wires. Shouldn't be that hard. This. Stop. Set. There we go. All right. They're recording now. I gotta get an intern. All right, I'm going. Jesus Christ. It'd be so much easier if I just had an intern. Yes, Mr. Lucas. You're rolling. This on me. They can get me drinks. All right, here we go. Let's roll. Retake. Fucking retake. Cocksucker. All right, man. It was too long anyway. It's like 27 minutes. While we're filming, uh, Brooklyn got a new toy. Check this out. How do you like that toy, Brooke? Did you kill it? Did you kill it? Yeah, you killed it. Yeah, it's guts everywhere. There's our mascot. Thanks, Brooklyn. Appreciate it. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, that's what happens when we, uh, we're busy. Now, yeah, Brooklyn takes care of it and, uh, she had a day. We got her a toy and she took care of it. Did a good job. Killed it.